Hola, amores, and welcome back to Soul Booklet. I am Maritza. There is nothing more attractive and a bigger turn on to us women, and especially within the first dates, than meeting a guy and getting swept off our feet. Because on top of him being very interesting, he will know just the right things to say. He will also seem very genuine and will also show me that he is equally as interested and invested in me as I am in him. Before we start, I want to send a special thank you to my new channel subscribers and also to my previous ones. And I want to invite those who haven't yet subscribed to please do so and help me continue growing this channel. Also, don't forget to check out my other videos here on YouTube on topics that I'm sure will interest you, like on life, love, and relationships. So today in our video, we're going to talk about what is the best way to turn on a woman, especially within the first dates. Since those days are extremely important, they're the ones that can really seal the deal and make us keep wanting more from you. So stay till the end to hear some great tips and advices. So it's no secret that within the first dates come first impressions. And those first impressions are extremely important because those are the ones that give us the first clues about you, about each other. And those triggers that happen in our brains are the ones that keep us interested in wanting to know more about you. And that things you say and how you act are extremely important and ultimately make us see you with different eyes and are the things that make us want to see you again. So the first thing I need you to do is to be comfortable with yourself within your own skin. Do not be blown away by anybody's appearance. Don't lose track of yourself. Seem confident and this will really turn us on. Look clean, look good and smell good. All things are very important. And if you pick us up in your car, then please open the door for us. Open the car door for us. Make us feel like princesses. We will feel very flattered and very pleased. And that will help open some doors in our secretive minds. If we're catching the bus or maybe we're meeting somewhere or maybe even walking towards a cafe, also note, please let us enter first inside the bus. And if we're walking somewhere, then walk on the side where the traffic is coming from. It just means you're going to protect us if something is coming our way. And we're going to always keep that in mind. Number two, if you see that we're invested and interested in you as well, and that maybe we're kind of nervous, and you see that we're also asking you lots of questions, this means we also have the feeling of interest inside, of wanting to know more about you. Also, I'm not going to tell you to go for a kiss right away because that's something very personal. It's up to you. It's what you feel in the moment, in your stomach, in your gut. But trust your gut all the time. But again, if you see we're happy and we're smiley and we're nervous, maybe if we're in a table, maybe you can reach out and maybe just maybe touch our hand, maybe touch our fingers slowly. If we pull fast, then this can have several meanings. It can mean that maybe we want to take it slower or maybe it means that we're just not interested. So continue analyzing the person, continue analyzing what comes out of her mouth, how she moves her mouth, her bodily language. Everything tells a lot about us. So analyze everything. If you feel the chemistry, if you see that I have it too, then continue asking me questions too. If it's the first date, then let's keep it real. Ask me about my hobbies and my passions. Seem interested in me as a person. Or if you think you do like me, then don't just seem interested, be genuinely interested. And from there you can see if we have things in common. Maybe you can compliment uh, the woman on something special and for sure she's going to feel appreciated. Don't overdo it, but just keep it simple. Always respectful with what you say and what you ask. Also, my loves, once the date is finished, and only if you see that I am genuinely interested too, and if you see the qualities in me that you want in a woman, then be a gentleman and pay for the first meal. I'm sorry, but it has to be like that. Because though we do work nowadays, we also like men to take charge and be courteous with us, especially on the first dates. Believe me, if we like you, this will make you stand out. We're going to like you even more. And finally, let's end the night with a nice strong hug. Enough for our bodies to feel each other's warmth, especially our arms and our chest, maybe our neck. But nothing with touching each other down there. Not like a whole body hug, just a nice strong hug right here. Enough where we're going to feel pleased and we're going to maybe grow a desire to see you and with different eyes or see you again. 
and maybe after you get home maybe you can text us or maybe a nice little phone call or maybe I can call you we'll play it by the night but always keep the desire going see where it can take you and of course let's set a date for our next meeting too on the following dates we of course need to keep it more real because it's now all about who we really are and what we each want from life listen carefully to our responses and make sure they match with your life perspectives too because if we share values and similar life viewpoints we are then more likely to have a stronger possibility of being fit for each other don't be blinded by anything and listen well these first conversations say a lot about us. So now of course comes the third date and it's also good to talk more about our lives. Now this time our customs, our religion and our family values. Those are more serious conversations that should be looked at very closely and at the beginning. Because though we are all the same and we're all human in a standpoint, things like culture, religion and family values are core things that really pull nations apart. So many can ask, uh, many ask, um, do you think love can sustain everything between two people? And the short answer is yes, love can overcome anything. But it's so much harder to go against life and cultural norms, uh, ones that we have lived with for a lifetime. So keep all those things in mind. And I promise you, all those questions and topics about future and maybe children and wanting to know more about us and our family, oh, that is such a turn on for us women. So my loves, by now you should be able to make up your decision on where this is going. Either you're going to continue moving forward with her or you're going to say no and go your own way. Either way, it's up to both of you to discuss it and be real. But please don't lie to anybody for uh, to gain intimacy. And also if you don't really like her, then don't say things or don't persuade her into anything uh, if, that you want out of them. Be real with yourself and don't build rocks inside your life because you never know when they can come and make you fall. All right, my loves, that is all for today. I hope you liked what I shared and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Please give me a like if you appreciate this content and share this video to someone if you think and can help them. Also, drop a comment to let me know what do you think of the things that really turn a woman on, especially on the first dates. And also let me know of a topic you want to discuss. And don't forget to subscribe and get notified on when I post a new video. Once again, I am Maritza with Soul Booklet and I will continue bringing you ways on how to create a better bond with yourself and a more meaningful relationship with all around you. Thank you so much for watching this video and for sticking with me through this channel. Till next time. Ciao, ciao, amores.